Hello, hello everybody. I'm Brian and I'm back again today to do a review, <clears throat> excuse me, of something I've never reviewed before. And uh, a lot of my subscribers will notice I've never reviewed a chopper. And the reason I do not review choppers is because I have a hatchet that I've been using for the last 16 years and I haven't found a need to replace it. It works just fine for me. So as a result, I decided I'm not really going to be reviewing choppers because I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a chopper when I already have one. Um, I also am not a firm believer in choppers and I typically use my hatchet more so just for wood processing, splitting, things of that nature. I don't chop down trees or anything like that with it. Um, but I did find something interesting from Silky and I have purchased four separate items from Silky and I've been testing all of them out over the past couple of months and um, <clears throat> two of them I have already put up reviews on one being the Silky Ultra Excel folding saw and the other one being the Silky Zubat now in the process of finding those items I also found that Silky makes two choppers and I went ahead and purchased both of those um, <clears throat> one being the Silky Nada, which is this item here, and the other one being the Silky Yoki, which is a bush style axe, and um, I will be showing that to you soon, probably, if I can find something I can test it with, because bush axes are pretty, they're, they're kind of like a, a thicker machete with a, a, a hook bill on them, it, it's, they're unique and finding stuff to test them with to show you guys is not particularly easy because my wood spot has been found out and I am not allowed to go back there so <clears throat> I'd find a new spot not the easiest thing to do where I live um, but let's go ahead and get into the review now as always there's the blade but we're gonna start out with the sheath um, the sheath on this is a little blingy in my opinion I'm not a fan of it with the whole you know metal goldy color on it but it's Japanese style and these are all made in Japan so you know it's it's what it is um, two big drain holes at the bottom there don't know how well you can, can see it <clears throat> just like with the silky Zubat all of Silky's she's like this come with a quick release tab right here push it down comes off um, <clears throat> has a pleather strap up here and again just like with the Zubat it has that kind of rubberized um, belt loop with a carabiner hole on it now this particular item doesn't really have any retention if you just stick it in it doesn't really retain um, but considering how unique the shape of this blade is it's not exactly going to be easy to find a replacement sheath so, I have what I have. It's a good sheath. It's a little too blingy for my taste. I'd rather have a leather one, and I might make a custom leather sheath for this later down the road. Um, but as of now, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, let's go ahead and get into the stats of the blade itself. This particular blade is made out of SK4 steel, which is the exact same steel they make all of their saws out of. It is a very good Japanese tool steel. Um, there are better SK steels. Um, you have SK5, SK6. SK4 is kind of a mid-grade as far as the SK steels go, but it is gonna be a lot better than your standard high carbon. It is a high carbon steel, but it is definitely a lot harder. Um, <clears throat> typically sitting in a very high hardness, it is kind of, essentially the kind of steel you're going to find in hammers. It's, it's a very hard tool steel. Um, now this particular version here, the uh, Silky Nada, does come in two different grind patterns. Um, and I want to go ahead and explain that for you guys because a lot of people don't know and I see a lot of comments on Amazon about you know what the grind means. They come in two grind styles. You have one grind and two grinds. That's what they call it. Remember they're Japanese. In the United States, we refer to it as a chisel grind or a standard grind. Okay, so you have a chisel grind, 
which on the Amazon listing is going to be a one grind nada or a standard grind like what we have here which is ground on both sides we call it standard grind they call it a double grind <clears throat> okay so pros and cons going with the single grind nada is not going to be you know a detractor for most people if you're using it as a chopping tool um, the problem with single grind nadas comes in with batoning single ground anything has a hard time batoning they have a, a the, the chisel grind is great for chopping great for processing you know stripping bark as a draw knife but not good for batoning it is definitely going to fall short in that category that's why I went with the double ground one because if I'm going to be using a, a chopper like this I want to ensure that I can use it for everything I want to use it for um, <clears throat> So there you have that, SK4 steel, very, very hard. They did coat it in, um, I can't remember, it's a hard chromium plating to keep it from rusting. Um, in all honesty, you should treat this as any high carbon knife and oil it to make sure it does not rust um, because it is still a high carbon knife. <coughs> Even though it's a tool steel, it will rust. The grip on this, as you can see, this, the design is a little different. Um, it has more of the cookery style where it has a hook down grip here. And what that does is it just magnifies the chopping force when you go and actually make the chopping motions. Um, the grip is a rubberized material. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is, but it is very grippy. It is the exact same material that you're going to find on the Zubat that you find on the Silky Ultra Excel folding saw. <coughs> and it's the same material they have on the Yoki. So all in all, very grippy even when wet. Um, no problems whatsoever with that. Um, I don't feel like it's gonna come out of my hands at all. It does have a nice hook back here to help make it more secure. And of course, a lanyard hole there. Um, now what they did is they made this and these grips on the choppers a little bit unique in that you can actually take and peel the grip off both sides here. Let's see if I can do it without cutting myself. In order to clean up underneath it. Now, a lot of people believe that they did that so that you could replace it um, with a different handle, um, but they didn't. This the reason they have this grip on here the way they do is so that A, you can replace the blade without replacing the grip. If you wanted to do that, they sell just the blades. Um, but it's also so you can clean underneath it because when sap and things over time get down in here, and because it is high carbon, it will start to rust the tank. And basically this gives you the ability to pull this off without having any tools, clean up underneath the handle, to ensure that your, your tang doesn't rust through. Um, <clears throat> so it's more of a maintenance thing than it is a, oh cool, let's go ahead and let them take it off so they can wrap paracord around it. That's not really the reason it's there. I just figured I'd let you guys know that. The weight of this particular item falls in at one and a half pounds just for this. And then when you add this, it's 2.1 pounds. So it's not a light item, it is a chopper, and that's what it's designed for. Um, it is an excellent batoning knife, but, well, batoning chopper, I have used it quite a bit for that purpose. I'm actually kind of surprised at just how new it looks, considering how much I've used it. Um, I find that material doesn't really stick to the blade very well. It doesn't cause all those rub marks and everything else that you would normally find, but I still managed to get some of it on there. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, what else was there? I'm not gonna baton with this on this video, and that's because, to be brutally honest with you, if any knife can baton, then this thing batons. Um, honestly, this is one of the best batoning tools that I have ever used. Um, it goes through pretty much anything and everything. It doesn't matter, it doesn't care what kind of wood it is. It's gonna go through it. So it's kind of a waste to actually 
shoot a video of this thing batoning. So instead what I'm going to do is um, show it chopping, <clears throat> kind of its intended purpose, on that piece of hard cherry that I have over there that I used to test the saws on. Um, I'm going to keep the theme alive and I'm going to use that piece of the hard cherry to demonstrate how this thing batons, um, or not batons, chops. And um, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Because in my opinion, once you see how it handles that, you'll kind of understand how it handles batoning and why I'm not really, I don't think we need to put that in the video. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get to the chopping portion of this. Just want to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. Um, be right back. All right, we're back. We have our piece of hard cherry here. Now, those of you guys who haven't watched my saw videos, this is a two year aged piece of hard cherry or piece of cherry. I have not processed this because it's pretty much destroyed every saw I've thrown at it, except the silky. Um, so I have a pile of it sitting there and I've been processing it down now that I have the silkies. But um, my Corona <laughs> didn't last long. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this thing chops just give you guys an idea of how effective it is so let's go ahead and get started
very very comfortable grip no real hot spots at least for me um, so let's go ahead and keep going a little bit There you have it. Completely through. So, my honest opinion, fantastic tool for chopping. Also absolutely wonderful for batoning. Let's go sit at the chair and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. And welcome back. Now you guys just saw me go ahead and chop through that cherry over there. So, went ahead and grabbed myself a piece of paper, and we're gonna do a paper test. Now, I have not done a paper test with this yet. Um, it has not been sharpened by me, straight from the factory, and it has not been sharpened since I've started using it. So, that edge is still pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. Decent. I wouldn't say it is hair popping sharp, but then again, it should not be hair popping sharp. It's a chopper. But, still sharp enough, all considering. Um, it's holding its edge re amazingly well. I, I see absolutely no dings in the blade whatsoever in the edge. No rolling or chipping. Still nice and sharp. Catches my finger really well. Really like this thing. Um, absolutely no complaints whatsoever. I'm going to absolutely give it a 5 out of 5. Um, I have since replaced my old hatchet with this. And I will continue using this because in my opinion it is simply a better chopper. Um, but at the end of the day, am I going to cut down a tree with a chopper? No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to be using a saw primarily for that. I'm going to be using this at more so as a um, wood processing tool, taking branches off of trees um, when I'm trying to build shelters, things of that nature. It's, it's more of a processing tool for me than a harvesting tool. Um, I believe that you should use the right tool for the job, and in my opinion, if you're cutting down trees or cutting firewood up into usable sections, it should be a saw that you're using, not a chopper. Um, but there you have it, that's my review. And as always, hit like, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And as always, have a good night. Bye bye.